America's Morning News. Can I ask you a quick question while you walk, sir? Yeah. It was a very good speech you gave today. I wanted to ask you uh, two quick questions. There's been a ton of media uh, attention given to uh, Herman Cain about allegations of sexual harassment. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? I don't think that uh, anyone knows uh, the ins and outs of it but him and, and the uh, ladies involved. I think the troubling part is the fact that it seems that Mr. Cain is given different stories at different times. The inconsistencies is what I think has undermined him. Uh, saying first he didn't know anything about it, then he knew only limited, then it was only a little bit of money, then it was uh, racist on the left, then it ended up him saying he told somebody himself that worked for him that now works for Perry. I mean, a different story every day, I think, is what is undermined. Him. Understood. And then another subject, you um, have talked a lot about occupation um, Wall Street. Um, there have been some suggestions that there's a connection or a correlation between um, Occupy Wall Street and uh, uh, the civil rights movement. What's your take on that? I think that there is a correlation in the sense that the civil rights movement, Dr. King's uh, generation questioned uh, his last book, uh, Dr. King's last book even questioned the distribution of wealth, uh, Reverend Jackson's generation, all the way to my generation now. Uh, uh, we've always had an economic equality part of the civil rights movement and the protest part of the civil rights movement. So I think there are, are parallels there, and I think that that is why many of us have supported that. A very final question, sir. As you just uh, uh, gave remarkable comments uh, about the career of uh, Reverend Jackson, uh, Fox News' Bill O'Reilly had questioned, uh, where are you and uh, uh, Reverend Jackson in this whole episode with uh, uh, Herman Cain and why you all haven't come out uh, to speak to his defense? We have spoke uh, about Herman Cain. Uh, I speak every night on my show. I've spoken on any number of platforms about his inconsistencies, uh, about the fact that Mr. Kane said that there was no racism in America that it was effective anymore, but then all of a sudden he uses race. I think Bill O'Reilly's problem is I'm not saying what he wants me to say about Mr. Kane. Not that I'm not speaking, is that I'm not singing Mr. O'Reilly's song. Maybe he should check with me before he asks me to say something, because I am speaking, Bill. I'm just not letting you write the words. Thank you for the time.